Hi guys, my name is Alex. In this tutorial I'm going to try to explain to you how I created this gun barrel, revolver barrel, uh, that can be used for uh, game purposes or for just a preview of your models. So, let's get started. I'm going to hide this. And going to the top view, I'm going to create geometry plane and I'm just going to draw a simple plane I'm going to select a different color so we can see it better and I'm going to make uh, two length segments and two width segments let's make it four width segments yeah now I'm going to uh, convert it to editable poly by right clicking on it and selecting editable poly and now pressing 2 on the keyboard or selecting here edge I'm going to select these edges and connect them pressing uh, shift on the keyboard to get this uh, opened and I'm going to push it to the side and I'm going to uh, click apply and continue and I'm going to select this tool and I'm going to set minus in front now I'm going to select this and again shift connect I'm going to right click on it to set it to the default value of 0 and OK now I'm going to go to the vertex selection and right click and target weld and select this and target weld it to the center and this the target weld to the center and also for this too now I'm going to select these polygons and going to polygons and shift inset and it has inside it just a little bit and click OK I'm going to zoom in and delete these polygons selecting vertices pressing S on the keyboard to make the snap toggle on and it's good to right click on it and select only vertices everything else should be unselected and then just W to make the move tool on and just snap it to the points now I'm going to again select these polygons and I'm going to bevel them holding shift on the keyboard and I'm going to bevel them in the negative value just make sure you have some values that are ok for your design well that's too much ok now I'm going to select these uh, polygons and delete them going to the top view and again select the vertices that are not aligned W on the keyboard and we still have snap toggle on and we are just going to align them appropriately now I'm going to go to the top view and make effect pivot only active and still with, this, uh, with the snap toggle on I'm just going to push it to the side and snap it to this vertex and now holding shift on the keyboard I'm going to push it to the side and snap it to this vertex I'm going to make five copies and now I'm going to go to modify and here on attach list and control A on the keyboard to select everything and attach everything 
now we have uh, this uh, attached in one uh, object but we have the, po the vertices that are overlapping you can check if you have the overlapping vertices by going to view X view and overlapping vertices now here it says 40, over 40 vertices are overlapping uh, and if we want to weld them we just control A on the keyboard to select all vertices and go here to settings and weld now here it says 40 vertices are, are overlapping but indeed uh, when we weld them together only uh, 20 are going to go away because here for example we have 1, 2, 3, 4 uh, but in reality there are 8 I can explain it better but anyways you have to always uh, divide this by 2 and uh, and set these values until you have the this value divided by 2 shown uh, here so I hope you understand that I understood that <laughs> now I'm going to apply band modifier and set it to 360 degrees on the X value X axis and right click on the band and collapse to and now again we can see we have 8 uh, vertices that are overlapping again go to vertex selection control A everything and again weld as you can see 4 vertices are welded together and again we have no vertices uh, overlapping anymore so here we have our uh, basic design just to check we can apply a mesh smooth modifier to it and apply some iterations and as we can see it's pretty okay it's pretty okay okay I'm going to delete that and if you don't, don't want to see these vertices anymore you just hover over and right click on it and unclick overlapping vertices going to the front view pressing Z uh, on the keyboard it will uh, snap this the uh, it will snap the view to the center of the selected uh, object now we can see we have some kind of uh, not really what we want in um, rotation manner so I'm going to rotate this having the snap toggle on so we can see we I have this uh, now aligned appropriately now I'm going to go to reset X form reset selected so after I collapse it this is going to be the, uh, the default state of this object now I'm going to go to splines create shapes and splines and going to select and gone I'm gonna have eight sides on and I'm just going to draw it out and now I'm going to right click to the select and control alt a on the keyboard to snap to align it to this uh, outer object and I'm going to just align it in the X position now I'm going here to hierarchy and effect pivot only and again Alt A and select on the border but this time the X and Y value now I'm going to go to tools and array and I'm going to select here rotate under Z axis 360 degrees type in and under count you just type 6 and make sure there are copies not instances copies preview if you want to preview it uh, they are pretty, pretty large but okay I could probably make them a little bit smaller but this is just uh, something that I didn't need to do that but yeah 
a little bit better. So press OK. And now we have angons and we're going to uh, make let's see what happens if I create a poly, okay, editable poly, convert it to editable poly and attach list and select everything but the plane, the plane is the border so select all the angons, attach them together and we're going to select a more suitable color and going, pressing Q on the keyboard because I don't like this selection, I only like selection uh, tool uh, selected <laughs> when I'm uh, selecting the borders because sometimes I just move them unintentionally and I mess up the model so just uh, select one border and go to bridge click on it and now just click on a border and click on a border to bridge them together right click to the select bridge and select uh, border and click on the center and cap it cap it now go to edge and select these edges and connect them once Now going to vertex selection, uh, right click on it and cut and we are going to cut from up here so let's just make sure it snaps, it shows it's going right from the vertex and going down here to this vertex. Okay, now going to the perspective view, I'm going to align this having snap to go on, pressing S on the keyboard or by clicking here I'm going to just push out until I snap it to this border and I'm going to do the same for the second for the other side but this time I'm going to hold shift on the keyboard click and drag and make a copy of it and just select all uh, control A on this uh, this object and flip the polygon so the right side is right side is uh, pointing outwards. So now I'm going to deselect S to snap toggle off and select the outer edge and go to where are you? Attach and just click on these two sides going to the front view we're going to make our, s our life uh, easier by just going to polygons and selecting this and delete it and this and delete it so we only have this left this is why we're going to uh, weld things together uh, much faster we are going to have uh, things done faster. So, so select one edge and go to bridge. I said bridge. Click and drag or just click and click. But this time we are going to... Oh, before we do that we are going to... Uh, I'm going to delete this one and I'm going to make some changes uh, here so I don't have to make them uh, twice I'm just going to cut from here to here and from here to here and now from here to here I don't know if this, that's okay, but no, it's not okay. From here, nah. I'm going to select this two, this two, no, just this two, 
and connect them and now going back to vertices and cut I'm going to cut from here to here yeah that's okay so going back to element selection I'm going to select this one again W shift drag and clone it to the element but we have don't have it aligned so align it and flip the vertices again flip the polygon sorry again so now let's see as off and edge select an edge and again going to bridge and bridge these two together and now bridge these two together as you can see we <coughs> are left with some triangles but that's not a problem because we're not going to animate uh, uh, distort with animation this uh, model so just select select these holes and cap them and now here we have triangles and here we have some angons which are not okay because angons aren't really uh, really what we want to see in our game engines so we're going to select these edges and connect them and these two edges and connect them yep now going back to vertices and right click cut and we're going to cut from here to here and from here to here and now we are going to make this into a triangle okay okay now you can check if you have any angles or triangles by selecting all the polygons and going to selection and click on non quads and it's going to show you which of the polygons are non quads these center parts are okay because we're going to uh, make them disappear this is okay also because we're going to make them go away when we do the symmetry but this one is still not okay because I forgot to cut from here to here and from here to here again selecting everything yeah now I have an issue because one two three four I just obviously didn't uh, cut them okay so let's see select these vertices and yeah I have this two fold just uh, if this happens just select the vertices and if you, you know who I have two vertices selected and just weld them together sometimes this happens if you do the sloppy thing and again okay that's okay that's okay that's okay that's okay that's okay that's okay okay everything looks okay going to the front view I'm going to select this edge and I'm going to apply a symmetry modifier to it collapse it and select this uh, edge and again apply a symmetry but this time on the z-axis and collapse it again now we should have our design created but going back to the front view we are going to go to the polygon selection and just click and drag 
holding control click and drag 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 so we have both sides selected now what we are going to do we are going to bridge this going back to graphic modeling tools and polygon and bridge but before we do that we are going to inset it just a little bit let's see one and now we are going to uh, bridge them if we uh, wouldn't insert it uh, after we would apply a mesh smooth or turbo smooth modifier we wouldn't have the crisp edge so now we just we can uh, get rid of some triangles by selecting and selecting this and control backspace to holding control and uh, pressing backspace on the keyboard making sure that uh, with the edge the appropriate vertex vertices are going to be deleted so now we can check again if we have any unnecessary angons or triangles as we can see we only have triangles 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 angons shouldn't be seen anymore so this is pretty much it for this tutorial let's see if we apply a turbo smooth mesh smooth modifier yeah we have some issues still because we don't have the edge really sharp so we're going to fix this by going to edge selection holding shift and clicking to select the loop and going back to graphic modeling tool loops connect and we're going to push it to the side okay and we're going to select this and again connect holding shift in a negative value and this should fix this problem so this is pretty much it for this tutorial I hope you learned something new do subscribe to my channel uh, share this video, comment if you like it, and till next time, bye!